As part of my A2 coursework, I created a promotional pack for a local independent band, The Sherlock. This consisted of a music video and two ancillary products for which I created a digipack and a promotional poster, as found in real magazine publications. This had to be linked in order to create synergy, to establish a clear brand between the product, and also to relate to my chosen subculture, Dick Hebdige 1979, of indie rock. All the products had to contribute to the certain iconography, Panofsky 1939, that the Sherlocks were trying to create. These products had to be horizontally integrated and share the same theme and colour, and to share a direct link. My project for the Sherlocks was a performance music video, Carlson 1999, for their song Let It Go, along with an 8 page digipack and promotional poster, all connoting a preferred reading, Stuart Hall 1980, of representing the artist as a star persona, Richard Dyer 1975, through ideologies, Tim O'Sullivan 1998 such as mise-en-scene, camera work and post-production editing techniques that further connote the band as protagonist, Prop 1928, in a working class society, relating more to the target audience and imaginary entity, Inang 1991. Mise-en-scene between the products was similar in order to create a sense of creativity in promoting the brand of the Sherlock. The artists themselves in the music video were dressed in clothing labels such as Feeler, Adidas and Pretty Green, all relating to the subculture, Hebdige 1979, of the brand. I had to maintain this level of continuity for my ancillary product by taking photos at the gigs using a digital single lens reflex camera to then manipulate in post-production to use in my digipack and ancillary poster, which represented the brand's choice in clothing labels, which further contributed to the continuity of promoting the brand as ideal self and ideal partners. Carl Rogers 1980, for their target audience. Creating a relationship between the two, John Hartley 1989. The locations we used during the filming of the music video were pubs and working men's clubs and even restaurants. In order to help connote the band as star personas, Richard Dyer 1975, in a working class society. Also using the gig photos previously mentioned to show the locations in the digipad and promotional poster as a form of iconography that connotes the band in a working class society acting as protagonists. Prop, 1928. The camera work I used were medium close-up close shots, a convention of a music video, Andrew Goodwin, 1992, as well as establishing shots, juxtaposing them together in the post-production stage in order to create cross-cutting sequences, promoting each member of the band as an ideal self-ideal partner. Rogers, 1980 as well as promoting the band as a whole through the use of establishing shots. On my digipack I mainly use establishing shots at a low angle in order to connote the band as being powerful and of importance. To connote them as godlike figures, Carlson 1999, through the assistance of post-production special effect 3D, a red and blue transition that creates spectacle within my video. I also use mid shots of the band members playing their instruments during the gig simply in order to connote the members of Star Personas, Dyer 1975. For my poster, I took a screenshot from the music video that included the band playing the title song Let It Go, but the focal point in the image is the amplifier with the Sherlock's logo encoded onto it as a form of branding. Using post-production image manipulation tools such as brightness and contrast and colour blends, I was able to juxtapose the colour of the poster with the same house style as my digipack creating spectacle throughout my ancillary products for my target audience and subculture, Hebdige 1979. As my poster is only a half poster, I had to find examples of half posters from real music magazine publication Q, which further relates to my subculture and imaginary entity, Yang 1991, and in doing so, scan the two posters on the page to then crop one using the crop tool on Photoshop. I replace it with my own making my product look both professional and realistic to my target audience. My Digipack is an 8 page promotional CD DVD package for my artist that is intended to create synergy by linking with the house style of my poster through colour and the use of text to then distribute on social media websites such as Facebook and Twitter to then attract a wider audience for my brand. 